the big match. Today we should be featuring West Ham against Manchester United and what a cliffhanger that turned out to be. Two famous clubs in such trouble at the foot of the table. For West Ham there's more trouble. In addition to Bobby Moore, Brian Robson, John McDowell and Kevin Locke injured comes news that Trevor Brooking and Bobby Gould are also out. So this West Ham side is the one that went out of the cup to Hereford with Alan Wooler continuing at six, Pat Holland ten and Bertie Lutton nine. Uh, Manchester United now that George Best is missing again and on the transfer list this just about represents their strongest side. Coleman with the free kick for West Ham. Hit lower this time. Lutton, a chance to chest it down and cross the goal. There was a deflection there too. And certainly the chances in this uh, opening five minutes or so have gone uh, Bertie Lutton's way. One or two little moments when the goal has opened up before him. Good long throw there by Patton. Holton was really stretching for that one. Best jumping well for it. Billy Bonds. West Ham with two, four, six men up in that area now, including Waller, who didn't quite get a touch. Yes, Clyde Best hitting one through on a point save that time by Stephanie. Best caught that well with a minimum of back lift and a lovely flying save by Alex Stephanie. Taylor's header, not quite directed the way he wanted it, but now Waller. Oh, and here's a chance for McElroy. And it's a goal for Manchester United. Scored by the substitute, Sammy McElroy. The mistake coming in the first place by Waller. The ball going straight to McElroy. And his shot, although Dave got a hand to it, in it goes, and that's 1-1. And it could still be 2-1. All saved on the line and kicked away that time by Tommy Taylor. As Greenoff went roaring in there, made a good connection, somehow Day stopped it on the line and it was kicked away by Taylor. Again, there is Fulton there, making life very awkward indeed for the young West Ham goalkeeper. Because with Best marking him, is not only Holton, but Best there right in front of Day. And here comes another corner, played in close once more. And that time a marvellous save by Day from Makari. Well, Makari had always looked dangerous. And that was a superb close range save by Mervyn Day. Taylor's gone up, with McElroy going back. The crowd are giving West Ham all they can. Bonds tries to get it, it's a header there, yes! The goal is given, and it goes to Pat Holland. West Ham in the lead again. With seven minutes to go, the corner came over. Holland made the contact, and Best, who was on the goal line, ducked and put off everybody. Both linesmen have confirmed to the referee that in their book the time is up. Referee looking at his watch again. And West Ham have won by two goals to one. Billy Bonds, the man who really deserves victory on this day, and the man who scored the first goal for West Ham. Yes, what a finish it was. Uh, the West Ham manager, Ron Greenwood, said afterwards it really was a triumph for West Ham spirit. I'm not at all sure that he was entirely happy with the technical aspect of that game, but it really was a bit of a cliffhammer uh, hanger, Malcolm Allison. Yes, I thought that uh, it was a really entertaining game. You know, I mean, I, I, was, I really enjoyed it, and I'm sure that everybody there enjoyed it. It was a very difficult, place, very, very difficult pitch to play on. You know, it was very lumpy and bumpy and, and probably never suited West Ham. But... Uh, they battled away, and I thought that Billy Bonds was really tremendous yesterday. Does, isn't that sort of spirit of Billy Bonds, is that infectious? Would that run right through the West Ham side yesterday, do you think? Well, the way he played yesterday, it had to. Uh, and this does, definitely. I mean, when you get a player play like he did, you know, where he's determined, here he is now, you see him in the middle of the pot. You watch it where he picks up, and he really runs at, really runs at the United defence, lays the ball out to the left-hand side there. And you see him get it back here again, look up again, and then play another ball with his right foot. Very accurate ball in the box. And then this ball's knocked away again, and you see him up in the air competing again. He's had the ball three times in about five seconds. 
There's a situation here developing where the ball will be crossed into the box and you'll see the excellent marking of Billy Bonds. There. Now, he's in the six-yard box and he's, and he's within a foot of ground. That's, that's what they call marking. That's good marking. There's a throw in here, Padden. You see Padden pointing to Morgan. Morgan turns away to the referee and Padden throw, takes the throw. You see Holton here get up and knock the ball away. Doesn't really get it away. Knocks it up fairly high and you see best challenge for it. And there's Bonds again, number four, waiting. And he really hits this with his left foot. But you see Houston turn his back and you see Holton turn their backs on that ball. But it goes in the bottom corner and net. That was a bad defensive play by Manchester United. Look at that enthusiasm of those West Ham players around Billy Bonds. Just wonder how far that enthusiasm can take them. It, uh, I mean, it obviously won them the game yesterday. An obvious question, Malcolm, and, uh, and a quick answer. Relegation prospects for both West Ham and Manchester United now? Uh, um, well, I, th I thought looking at Manchester United yesterday, they might get out of it. But uh, it's, it's a tremendous battle for them. Uh, if West Ham get their players back in the next three or four three or four days, you know, if they get two or three mm. of their players back for the weekend, then I think the West Ham got a good chance of getting out.